welcome we're back we're back at the store we're back thrifting i thought i'd give it a try here it's been a while they never have jewelry anymore they used to have so much nice jewelry but looks like they have a few nice things today some interesting beads here that looks like an interesting bangle can i see that bangle there please ma'am the one with the little circles this one no, next to it, and then the white one in front of it, that black one back there. Probably everything in your case, if you don't mind. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> and that, you see that pearl and crystal looking one? Yes, ma'am. And these, these last three, if I could. Uh, as well as this chunky little tribal thing right there. And then, let me see what else. Thank you so much. Oh, the ones that are hanging on the rack, if I could see those. That, it's been a while since you've had some jewelry in these racks. Oh, this is pretty. Looks like opal light on there. Thank you. How much is that? Sometimes they're so expensive. Can't quite tell today. Seven. That's not bad. I like it. I may have to grab that. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Lizzie and Louie. How are you? Thanks for being here. Oh, that's pretty. This blue is pretty, too. How much is this one? I can't tell. Six? Looks like six fifty-six. Very cool. I'm liking that one. Oh, she bought me the whole rack. There's another wood one I liked in there. No, I don't like this one. I like this one. This one's cool. This one's thick and heavy. It's got a $22 price tag. It's kind of nice. Hey, Gina. Hey, Doug. How's it going? Patricia. How are you, Patricia and Sanja? Yeah, this one, it, uh, is that a stain? I don't know. It looks kind of kind of interesting. I, I just love stretch bracelets. Some of them, like this old-fashioned looking one, I like it. I don't know why, but I do. It's a nice fit, too. We'll see. I just like jewelry in white for some reason. I like the white jewelry. What is that, five? I'm going to tell her to hold it anyway, because then I can't pay for it right now. I'll pay for it when I leave the store. Oh, look at this thing. Is that a baseball bat? The thing is humongous. I like it, though. Look at that. That's like a big, giant wooden bead. Can you see that? How interesting. It's a Chico's, of course. Still tagged, too. $14, but it was $69 at one time. What do you think? Should I get that? It's kind of cool, huh? <laughs> I'll think about it. I'm going to put it in the stash here. And then she brought these little crystal ones. Oh, these are plastic, though. They look like crystal from a distance. I do like this blue one. These are glass. Summer glass and summer acrylic. Okay, I'm going to pile that one there. Definitely the opal light pearls. That's pretty. I like that a lot. And it's got some vintage-looking findings. Not sure what it is. Okay, so... <clears throat> the title of my the title of my video is the best in Houston you know what makes the best in Houston and please please don't come for me all of you gatekeepers of everything that's socially acceptable and wonderful in life what makes this a great thrift store <laughs> is the fact that the homeless live out in the front and they're very loud and they're very scary to some not to me but they are scary to some and I think that keeps a lot of people away, and that leaves all the good stuff for me. Okay? That's what makes a good thrift store. Agree or disagree? <laughs> I've always said that, though. You know, the, the seedier neighborhood, the better. The stinkier store, the better, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, I mean, who wants to go to a store that has everything nice and neat and color-coded and then you pay for that this is gorgeous too this is glass so give me your stinky thrift store 
with the homeless camped, camped out in the front. And uh, I'm there. Food's not bad around the taco trucks either. So, we're good. But no, last time I said, last time I came here, there was literally some screaming homeless people in the front. And I said something about trying to get inside quickly. And someone came for me like, oh my gosh. Like I had just talked about something really um, derogatory. So, eh. I'm over that. I'm over trying to please him. Trying to please everyone. Can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, that's cool. I like that one too. Lots of nice ones in here. I got them mixed up, but I'm getting a lot of them anyway. Okay, these are, are these genuine pearls? I think they're supposed to look like genuine pearls, but they're not. And this is a nice chunky one too. But that's acrylic too. And yeah, and Houston's got a lot to explore. This is pretty too. Look at that. You do? See? The, the <laughs> mold smells like fine gold. I know, I know. You're right. It's true though. I mean, that's where you have to. I'll show you in a minute the bins around here where I have found. So many Gucci's and so many YSL's and all the good stuff buried in the bins. They have a lot of good purses hanging in the rack, though, too. Check it out. I have found some amazing handbags here. And the best thing about these thrift stores, you shop all week, and then on Sunday you get half price. Once you spend over 100 all week, you get half price for your Sunday purchase. And so there's usually a line because people have been eyeing all of the fabulous purses. <laughs> And they come buy them for half price on Sunday. So, yeah. They usually have good ones there in the rack, too. But there's a whole bunch in the back in the bins. This is kind of cool, right? Kind of a Disney princess look. What do you think? I kind of like that. We'll see. But I'm glad you understand what I mean. It's, you know, I'm not being facetious or whatever. Flippant about the homeless problem. I'm just stating a fact. Okay, I don't know why I like this. But I do. Kind of reminds me of those candy, those candy necklaces I used to love and my mother hated buying them for me because I would get my neck all sticky. I'd be eating them and wearing them. All right, ma'am, I'm going to get these. If you can hold them in the back there while I finish with the store. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think that was pretty much what I saw. That one's kind of cute too, that, that big thing there. I like the colors on that. And then there was some more bangles over here, but did I see anything? That black and gold one's kind of pretty. Oh, and look at that blue one. That one's tank. That one's tagged too. That blue one. You see that oval-looking blue and green? That one has a tag of thirty dollars. It looks like twenty-six. I'll bet it's from um, Loft or something. It's really pretty. I'll have her show me that when we leave. Let's go look at the bags and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let me see how everybody's doing today. Hey, Anna. Hi, Miriam. Emily, how are you, sweetheart? Hope you're doing well. Okay, not in the mood for clothes today. Just not in the mood for clothes today. I need to organize my closet. That's another thing I'm looking for today is like shelving. I'm going to restructure my jewelry cabinet. I have like a little armoire with drawers. I'm going to take all the jewelry out of there. I mean, all the handbags out of there. I have handbags in there right now. And I'm going to put jewelry in there. So I was hoping... Oh, look at this little Pyrex. I was hoping to do that and get some inspiration today. Oh, I've seen this one before. That one's pretty. Love Pyrex too. Four dollars with the lid. I think that one's called Colonial or something. Yeah, I used to love the milk glass for jewelry too, but no, I'm learning to put everything in trays. And because um, even in a regular jewelry box, you just don't see it. And I've gotten so lazy about wearing my jewelry, like the ones I just picked out, you know, the beads and things like that gotten really lazy about picking those out and wearing them. 
That's a cool belt. It's not leather though. Oh, this is a cool belt. Of course, they have Valentine's out already. Wild about you. <laughs> I like that one. All right, let's go in the back real quick and see the purses now. Even in this rack back here, they don't have the best purses. They have a lot of them in the front, and sometimes you can find a hidden gem back here, but most of the good purses are in a bin in the corner, and I'll show you in a minute. Piled one on top of the other. It's a big store. It used to be a Kroger. I think this is Family Thrift. What's the name of this store? Forget. Value Village or Family Thrift. One or the other. I always get them mixed up. All right. Oh, that's kind of wild and crazy. If it was leather, I may consider it. I think it's fake leather. It's cute though. I like that pattern. Let's see what else is over here. Oh, that's cute too. This is leather. What is this, a B. Mikowski? Yeah, that's a good brand. It's too small for me though. Let's start at the front over here. Too small, I like them and then I don't use them. Love white leather too, but then I don't use it. Nope, can't do fake fringe. Okay, what's this? Let me see who else joined me today. Look at this entire rack of purses. Hi, Gail. Pam. Linda, thank you guys for being here. Kimberly. Isn't that a cute bag? I really like it. Why can't it be leather? It's only four bucks. Who makes it bueno? That's still a good brand. That's a Macy's brand. It's so cute though. Is this a backpack? No. I think that's a coach. Yeah, that's a coach. Not in bad condition. Let's see what they want for it. Well, not in bad condition on the outside, anyway. 18. No, 14. 14. Too small, though. It's a nice color. I like that color. What else? What else? What else? Thank you guys for coming in with me. Be sure and hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to sub if you haven't. And what's this? I think it's a fake leather, but it's cute. The big, big bag. Huge bag. Okay, what's this? Oh, that's interesting. What makes this red one? No, I think that's fake too. I like the style though. I like that top stitching on bags. All right, let's go back here. And we'll look at the bric-a-brac. See if I can find anything to organize my jewelry with. And then I'll show you where the... <laughs> Did you guys see those little boys? One was asleep in the cart. In the shopping cart. That's funny. Excuse me. What does this say? Mardi Gras? Okay. Somebody really likes Mardi Gras. See right here, stacked. That's where the good purses were found. Excuse me. Right here, just one on top of the other. This is where you need to dig to find the good stuff. Don't know how much I want to dig today, Steve Madden, but uh, yep, this is where the Hey, this is cute. A Chanel. <laughs> yeah, right. That's so funny. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Look at the fake Chanel. It doesn't even have any C's on it. It's still cute, though. Look at that. Feels like leather, too. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. 
It's so funny. Even the viewers are fake in here. It's, you know, you take what you, you take what you can get. You keep digging. Sometimes you get good stuff. Sometimes you just find junk. It's a cool bag too. It's huge. No brand on that. There's a few more over here. Let me see if I see anything in this rack. I've been thinking about um, the old polos. Remember the polos from the 90s? I saw someone wearing a shirt the other day. It was so cute. And the bags were really popular. Then they were really popular on eBay, too, for reselling a few years ago. Just a fake one there. But um, they're kind of hard to find now. What is this? Fake leather, too? Yeah. Lots of stuff in here. Okay. That was so funny, that Chanel. <laughs> that blatantly fake Chanel. Didn't even have any C's on it. <laughs> At least put the fake logo. Gosh. <laughs> this looks like a fossil or something. Let me see what it is. That's a sack, I think. The sack. I think, let me look at it. That's what it feels like, yep. Boy, you look at purses for so long you can spot them a mile away, right? You guys buy a lot of purses? Looks like 38 people are watching. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Anna's here as well. <laughs> you like the Wii Shop along good. You went thrifting yesterday, good. I do like patchwork leather, yes. All right. Anything interesting? I think I did okay on the jewelry. Kind of like the necklaces I picked out. I may weed out a few more things, but uh, probably get everything I picked out. I did find a jar yesterday. I actually had three, but I left two behind. Because they were a little high for me that I thought. I'd bought them there before. They were $25, $30. And they were all $30. In one thirty-five, and I bought the $35 one. So. What is that, a griddle? Oh, I, thought it was, I thought it was Tupperware. So I did get that yesterday. But, yeah, I left two behind. And then I went to the Goodwill by my house, and they don't even have, gosh, they had the tiniest corner of, this, of the counter with just a few pieces. So they have not replenished their stock at all. Lots of books. Not in the mood for books today. Plush. and stuff. Tiny little jump surprise. Oh, I was going to say, I'm surprised that's still together. It's all glued together. <laughs> so funny. That is so funny. Let me see. Nope. Nothing interesting in bric-a-brac either. No shelving, no nothing. The Blues Brothers. House of Blues, Orlando. Let me see. There's a troll. Troll doll. Nope. 
Let's see what purses they have here. We should go see what purses they have in the counter, right, when we leave? Just for the heck of it. Sometimes they're reasonably priced. I feel like their stores are getting a little boring these days without jewelry and stuff. Let me go look in the counter though, so you can take a look. What they have in purses in the back. I have a lot of junk up here. Nothing I would really want. Maybe nail polish. That's about it. What's in the handbags? Let's see. There's an old coach back there. Can you see the old coach? Way down there in the corner. Right there. That looks interesting. That looks like a genuine coach. And anything else? Yeah, if I could see that little coach, please, in the corner. Um, right there in that corner next to the black one. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for coming in. Give me a thumbs up on your way out. Yes, please. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.